My name is Bob. I'm a truck driver at the moment. And I'm here to have fun. Do you support government? Uh, to a certain extent. What is government? Something that rules over the people. Should people be ruled over or should people be free? People should be free. So what's the problem with, with government then? Uh, there's too many restrictions. So if it was less restrictions, then it would be good? People can be ruled over just a little bit? Well, people need a little bit of ruling over, but when there's too many restrictions like what they have now, it's pretty tough to make a living. Well, what does it mean to rule over someone? To take away their freedoms one by one by one by one. Are there any freedoms that the government has a right to take away? <laughs> oh, you're asking a, a hypothetical question, and, and I would say yes and no, depending on what you're, you know, what you're thinking about. Well, what freedom does government have a right to take away? Well, you can't be murdering people. Well, that's not a right. You don't have a right to murder someone. You have a free, God gave you a free will, right? You do whatever you want. I could shoot you, him, and, you know, but I'm not going to do that. Well, the interview's not going that bad yet. So, I mean, it, that, that, that'd be one thing that you got to restrict people from doing. You agree? Absolutely, but you don't need necessarily something that's taking away rights that you should have in order to do that, right? If that's what government is. Well, that's all based in my mind. I would hope it's based in your mind and his mind and everyone else's mind, but there are people out there that will kill just to get ahead. They will murder. You mean like presidents who make war? Nothing like that. No one's made war. Obama hasn't really made war. Uh, Trump hasn't even been president yet. He hasn't made war yet. Well, Obama's killed hundreds of children with drone strikes in the Middle East. That just, it sounds like killing to get ahead. To try to push his agenda, yes. So, you still support this system? My tax dollars are going towards it, isn't it? <laughs> I don't mean, uh, I, yeah, of course, for, we, we support it against our will, right? But, but ideologically, do you support the existence of government? Uh, we have to have a government. For what function? Uh, again, to rule over, have someone rule over us. But you just said that people shouldn't be ruled, people should be free. Has there always been a king before there was a government? Well, there have been times when, when people have been free in limited situations, but yeah, unfortunately, so, but that's not a reason, that, like just because it's always been that way, we should keep doing it that way. Well, we all have the right to vote, right? Would you ever vote? I don't, actually. Would you ever vote no government? I would, actually. But I, I want to press you on this, if you don't mind, because you said that there are specific legitimate functions of government that you want to see. Like, what are they, and, and what do we need to give up our freedoms for or our rights for for government to exist that we wouldn't be able to handle better off without government? Well, well, put it like this. I was working at the World Trade Towers in New York the first time they blew it up. Those people vowed that they were going to come back and blow the place up, because that's what they said in the interview after they were found guilty. Mm -hmm. They came back and finished the job. Where was our government then? Well, what causes terrorism? Nobody knows what caused that part of terrorism. Well, that's not true. The CIA says it's blowback. Lots of people understand that when you kill people's children with drone strikes in the Middle East, you're going to piss people off. There were, no, there were no drones back then. All right. Well, there was plenty of meddling in the Middle East before then. There was the Iran-Iraq war. There's been all sorts of adventurism before that. There was the overthrowing of the Shah. I mean, there, there, there were lots of uh, interventions in the Middle East from the American government that led to people not liking the United States, but more specifically the government, of course. Well, again, we, we should never got involved, and it's a shame okay. that we did. So are, are, are you, you're saying that we need government to protect us from terrorism, right? You said, where was the government then at that? Right. We need, we need, we need, we need protection. But well, if government is causing all the terrorism, I mean, d does anything that we do not as government, like, piss people off in the Middle East, or is it only things that government does in the Middle East that pisses people off there? Well, I think uh, the Middle East... A lot of them do like Americans. Not everyone hates us. I mean, um, I would hope that some of them like us. So isn't it kind of funny, though, that you're, you're just saying that this is a problem, terrorism, that is caused at least primarily by government, and you want government to protect you from something that it caused? Yeah, isn't that something? 
you yeah. feel like you do you feel like we've been tricked into this? I mean, I, I gotta say, I've been I'm worse. I, I actually went to Iraq in 2004 with the Marine Corps. Like that's how bad I was fooled into supporting this idea that we need government to protect us from terrorism without seeing that really government is the primary cause of terrorism. Processing all that still? Uh, again, I, I don't think this government's actually the cause of terrorism. I, I think they went after people who went up against the United States of America. And they were looking for specific people in... But what did they do before that? Like, what pissed those people off in the first place? Is there, and it's, I'll, I'll put it to you again, is there anything that has created or led to terrorism that has been done by non-government actors? If you took a look at what they did in, in Iraq, Saddam was in control. There was no one attacking us really before that. And they took Saddam out, and next thing you know, retaliation became their... Uh, you mean the American government took Saddam out? Yeah, the, uh, right. Retaliation became their agenda is what yeah. happened. So again, it's the, the, so people in the Middle East, terrorists who hate us, who want to hurt us, only are hating us in any way or only want to hurt us because of what our government does. Yeah, and then you're, we're, we're all fooled into turning to government to protect us from terrorism. Right. Kind of crazy, isn't it? Right. Well, what would you want? Can you protect yourself? I think we do a much better job with what the founders envisioned as a, a, a society without a standing army, but rather dependent on militias, a well-armed population for defense, because that's the free market answer rather than the government monopoly answer. If you believe in free trade, you believe in the free market, everything that can be provided peacefully through commerce should be. And it's only when we trust government with the monopoly on protection services that we end up with the corruption that leads to military adventurism that leads to more terrorism. All right, I'll let you let that sink in. Thank you, Bob. Really appreciate your time today, sir. This is Adam Kokesh. Thanks for watching. Please share this video and support this production by going to patreon.com slash adamkokesh.